Now the amazing thing about the human conscience is this, that even if you don't believe what I'm saying, you believe what I'm saying. That even if you reject the truth of what I'm saying, there is rooted inside you a conviction which you can suppress with the years, but which is there nonetheless, which is telling you that these things are so. And this truth is the truth which the scripture will not let us forget. And he will do for you what I have been doing for you the last three and a half years. Now we don't have to go into detail because you've read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Whenever the disciples were frightened, Jesus calmed them down. Whenever they were facing impossibilities, he saw them through. How do we feed 5,000 people? We can manage. How can I get through this storm? I'll see you through. How can I walk on the water? I'll take care of it. Lord, how can I pay my taxes? We can see to that. You see, everything Jesus did for his disciples when he was here on earth, the Holy Spirit wants to do for you. He wants to teach you. Now, our Lord tells us here that the Holy Spirit's relationship to you and me is different in two respects from his relationship, Jesus' relationship, to his disciples. He says here, you know him. Well, how'd they know the Holy Spirit? Well, he tells us, he dwelleth with you in the person of Christ. The Holy Spirit had completely filled the Lord Jesus. The Father gave the Spirit unto Jesus without measure. And so he said, you know the Holy Spirit. He dwells with you in the person of Jesus. He shall be in you. Now, of course, it took the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus to make that possible. And now when a person trusts the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit moves in. Now, this to me is very marvelous. The disciples had Jesus with them them, we have the Holy Spirit in us. Secondly, Jesus was only with them temporarily, and then he left. The Holy Spirit is with us forever. He lives in me. No psychiatrist can do that. He knows all about me. He knows my mind and my motives and every intent of my heart. And so when I come to him, I'm not coming to a stranger. And I don't have to be afraid of him because he loves me. All he says to me is, turn yourself over to me, that's all. Just turn yourself over to me and I'll see you through. One further word about that. You can't separate the work of the Holy Spirit from the work of the Lord Jesus. Don't you ever do it. Because the Holy Spirit came on the basis of the work of the cross. Just as Ahaz was in trouble, people have always been in trouble. Nations have always been in trouble, and individuals have always had problems of one kind or another. Now, they need the name Jesus. That's where it all starts. First, you meet him as Jesus, Savior. Isn't that a great name? That name Jesus goes back to the Old Testament, too. Joshua. That great soldier, Joshua, who took the sword and moved in and conquered. Well, my Jesus is my Joshua. He's conquered. You begin with Jesus. You say, he's my Savior. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall save. You can't separate the work of the Holy Spirit from the work of the Lord Jesus. Don't you ever do it. Because the Holy Spirit came on the basis of the work of the cross. Back in the Old Testament, when, when, they, when they ordained the priests, they would put blood on the right ear, the right thumb, and the right big toe. Then they'd come along and they'd put oil on the blood. Now the oil's a picture of the Holy Spirit. Wherever the blood has touched, the oil can come. Now if you know Jesus as your Savior and you've been washed in the blood, then the oil can come, the Holy Spirit can work in your life. Fortify, fortification. And so comforter means with strength. In other words, the Holy Spirit of God doesn't come to pamper us. 
the Holy Spirit of God working in our lives as the paraclete, the one called alongside to help us, doesn't come to pamper us and baby us. The Holy Spirit of God comes to fortify us. He says, you're going through difficulty. I'm going to do much more than sympathize with you. I am going to enable you and counsel you and empower you and strengthen you. And I'm going to see you through.